being fit, being in shape has been one of the biggest unfair advantages I've had when it comes to networking. I'm a little out of breath, I just finished hitting my set. I want to get this video out. Look, attention is currency. Networking is key. How do we get eyeballs on your business? How do we get eyeballs on your brand? You have to be willing to talk to people. You gotta have to have icebreakers. You may not be a talker, so what? I'm not really a talker either, but you wouldn't be able to tell. When I started to really train, work out, started to understand, hey, this is something that I can utilize to have the icebreaker, get the conversation going. If I can just establish a contact, get some, a new number, you have to utilize whatever it is, whatever the cards that you have dealt with, you have been dealt with, you gotta use them, you gotta utilize it. You can't sit around and complain about what we don't have and didn't grow up with. What do we do have and how can we take advantage of it? So with me, I've been in shape for quite some time now. I use it from the way that I dress, uh, the content that I've been putting out. Why do I say the way I dress? Because I, I wear all my stuff tight. It's gonna be form fitting because yes, I want to make it clear. I'm embodying discipline, I'm embodying commitment. I network in the gym. When I go to events, a camera event, a video event, I'm gonna be one of the ones who can stand out and at least get some attention. Now, that's only one piece of the pie because, okay, what are you gonna do with it? How are you gonna monetize it? Are you taking advantage of it? Okay, you can get attention, you have eyeballs looking at you, but now what, what are we doing with it? So look at it as a networking opportunity. Just don't say, oh, I got people, look. I don't care about that. Can I establish a contact? Can I establish a relationship? Relationships are everything. Word of mouth is so important. So your unfair advantage, get in shape. Because depending on what industry you're in, not many of your peers and competitors are gonna be in shape or even care about working out or they want to start working out. And guess what? If you've been putting in your time, you become the thought leader in the space. They're asking you the questions. A lot of clients that I've had, we do business together, but then it goes into, well, hey, can we stay in touch so I can ask you questions about fitness and just keeping the rapport strong, keeping the communication open. A ton of clients that we now do business when it comes to fitness and when it comes to video, or and some of the clients, they may not be doing business, you know, the contract is over or the project is over, but we're still staying in touch. I can have countless and countless examples of, of that. Or I've met someone and they knew somebody. So keep that in mind. So why I'm always an advocate for fitness and training is because it spans just looking good. Okay, that is honestly not the, the number one thing on the list. There's so many other things that you get from it. And then the look is one of them also. All right, let's get it.